Welcome back to the channel. Phil again here from Harris Automotive. Today we're gonna to take some time and show you guys how to line up the timing marks on a 2020 Ford F-150 with the Coyote engine. This vehicle was in because we had um, engine knocking noise coming from the front timing cover. Come to find out that we had a bad timing chain tensioner that was causing the timing chain to rattle up against the guides. We was on Instagram, I'm sorry, not Instagram. We was on YouTube trying to find some um, directions on how to line up the timing marks to kind of cheat this job a little bit. We really couldn't find no real clear directions on setting the timing marks. So we had to get into Mitchell and find the correct way of doing it. So I'm gonna make this video to show you guys how to align the timing marks on these Ford Coyote engines. Again, it's a 2020 Ford F-150 five liter Coyote engine. Come on around here, Tyler. Come over my shoulder. So I'm going to try to show you this real fast. <clears throat> I'm going to show you the old, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like in the car. All right. Step number one. Well, let's look at this setup as it is. Four cam phasers. You got three timing chains. One timing chain to time the cam phasers and the cams. And then you have, I'm sorry, four timing chains. So you have two of them. One chain on one cylinder head, another chain, another cylinder head for the cam timing, and then you got two more timing chains. Again, one for the driver side cylinder head, and one for the passenger side cylinder head. So now, as you take this timing cover off, as you take this timing cover off, your first step is going to be this right here. This here is your boss your uh, for your crank. The first step you want to do is you want to turn this boss to 7.30. Now again, just for the sake of this, I'm just gonna turn this to about 7.30. Now, again, as you spin this, I don't want you to worry about the timing marks on the chain. Now, how are you gonna line this at the end? These timing chains have color keys on it. And this is how you're gonna line up your timing marks. A color key here, color key there. If you come over to this chain, let's see if we can find this one for you. This one is kind of worn off. I really can't see it, but I'm going to show you. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, here we go. I'm sorry. You have a color tooth here, and you probably have another co a color tooth right here. So this is how we're going to line it up. We're going to show you uh, when we go back together. All right, so now we have 730. First step, 730. Now you can just take your timing gears apart, and this is pretty simple. Take your tensioner off, just chain to get loose, now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your cam, your, um, your cam phases off, take the chain off, and then you're done. Next step you're gonna do, this chain is out your way. Next step you're gonna do, now this is disconnected. Now you're gonna turn this, again, your boss, you're gonna turn this to 330. You're gonna turn this to 330. At the same time, no, I'm sorry, you know what, excuse me, you're absolutely right, son corrected me. So we have 730. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna turn one revolution back to 7.30, and then you're gonna to go to 3.30. Now, while you're spinning this, this is also spinning, but again, it's not important. So now at this point, you can take time and chain tensioner out the way, take your chain off, move everything out your way, and then you're finished. Now, how are we dealing with these cam phasers? Let me bring this down for you. How you doing with these cam phasers? One bolt here, comes out, three bolts here, these cam phasers come off. Now when these cam phasers come off, I'm gonna show you guys something. These cam phasers are key. You have a key mark here for the exhaust. I'm gonna flip this over again. We're on the driver's side at this point. Driver's side of the engine, all right? They're keyed. Only goes on one way. That there goes to the cam. This one right here goes to the intake cam. Intake cam, keyed, come over here, exhaust cam keyed. So when you go to put this together, this is how you gotta do it. And take this off, this here's your timing chain. Now again, they're keyed. Look at your timing chain here. You have one color, um, uh, one color tooth here, and you have two links here. I'm sorry, not tubes, links. Two color links together, one color link on this side. So how you line this up? This here is your intake cam phaser. 
turn your intake cam phaser over, and you see that mark right there? You take your two with the colored link, it goes there. That's your exhaust. You have the one right here. You're gonna take the one and gonna put on like so. Intake, two color links. Exhaust, one color link. Now these are keyed to the car. They only go on one way. Now you take this and you simply install this on two cams together. And they're gonna go right on. A little wiggle, they're gonna snap right in. Then what you can do at that point, you can start your bolts, have them a little snug, and you can leave them there for now. Now, how you get your chain together? Now again, it's the old chain, just for the sake of this video. You have two color links on the old chain. One right here, and one right here. Now I want you guys to remember, this, this cog here, your timing cog here, is at 3.30. Now, I want you to follow this around. When you install this in the car, this is how it's gonna look, basically, close to it. You're gonna have this L here for left with a Tommy mark here, and you're gonna have a right. Now I know it's gonna be kind of backwards. This L is for the driver's side of the engine when you go to do the Tommy mark. I want you to pay attention to this. Driver's side of the engine, your Tommy mark is L. You take the one colored link, put it on the L. Just for this, come on, baby. I'm getting here. One second, folks. All right, here we go. One color link. Your color link is on the L. All right. Now you come down to. Now remember, we're at about 3:30, and the reason why you at 3:30 because when you're in the car, you need to be able to see where this link goes so this link wait was this the bottom or the top excuse me this link that way you can see it is going to go like that well you're going to be at 330 so let's keep this at about 330 all right let's keep this about 330 let's roll this just again for the sake of it i'm going to show you guys in the car and this is how you're going to line up the color link on this boss and show this again, Tyler. The colored link on that boss. All right? And that's how you line it up. Well, let's roll it back again. All right, so there you have it. Now, your next step is going to be to do your driver's side of the engine. Driver's side of the engine, the exact same thing. Same exact thing. Take your chain off. Take your chain off. It's keyed. One here. One here. Intake. This here's your intake. Because remember, you're looking at the engine. This here's your intake. Two color links there. Oops. Two there. Let's get this together. And we're gonna do one there. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna install this on the engine. All right? Now once this is installed on the engine, we're gonna kinda of turn it to the correct position, about the correct position. You see that R and that time mark? R means passenger side. L means driver side. All right, so now we're gonna get our timing chain. Same deal. We're gonna put one of our color links on I know it's a little tight, but we're gonna get this to go on. One more tooth over. Be patient with me, we're getting there. All 
right? You see that towel? I mean, we're on there, right? Yep. Now, before you, again, we're still here. Now, what we're going to do at this point, you see how the time mark is not going to line up. We have to turn this back to 3.30. I mean, I'm sorry, 7.30. When we turn this back to 7.30, at that point, let's say it's about 7.30, about right there. You're going to see that your timing mark will be able to line up. And that's how you do your timing marks on these engines. All right, so let me go show you in the car, give you a little better idea. Come on, Tom. So bring that on, that, that truck. Yeah, bring that on the truck. Now, I hope you guys can see this. We have this together. Now we already, let me get up on this thing. All right, sorry this video is a little bit raw, but hopefully this video helps a lot of people out. So again, we have our two intakes, our intake and our exhaust cam phases already mounted on this side of the engine, the driver's side. We already had the chain on. We already rotated our timing cog from 3.30 back around to 7.30. This side of the engine is done. Now here's what I'm gonna show you about the timing marks. See right here? That's about, again, the timing cog is over here, 7.30. And your timing mark is here. See the chain? Can you see that, Tyler? That's your color link on the chain right there. Then you follow it up. Come on up here, Tyler. I want you to follow it up. Can you see the color link on the chain right here? Back that up a little bit, Tyler. Color link on the chain right here. And it also says R. Again, R is the passenger side of the engine. So at this point, our timing is set. We already set our timing on our cam phasers to our cam. We have this bolted in. And at this point, it's just straightforward. You wanna show it again, Tyler? See if you can show it again. R is for the passenger side of the engine. And then you have the timing mark right there. All right? And that's pretty much it. So at this point, it's just kind of straightforward. We want to go ahead and just put our timing cover on. Just, just get everything back together and get this thing fired up. Thanks for watching.